What's up guys, it's Wilma Kaysen and welcome back to my channel of your return viewer or family member here. I love and appreciate you guys so, so much. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, I would love for you to consider joining our family here. You can do so by clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every single time I load new content. I am so excited. I'm collaborating with the lovely, the talented, also beautiful Brittany Good, you guys. And if you don't follow her, trust me, you need to because she's good, Brittany good. I will leave the link to her channel as well as the video below that she's collaborating with me on. And today we're talking about luxury items that we're not reaching for in 2020. And you guys, leading up to this video, I was a little apprehensive because I'm like, you know when you really examine your collection, especially the things that you're not reaching for, it's kind of like wake up call, um, maybe you don't need them. But after conversing with Brittany, we decided, no, these are things that we are not, just not using. It's just, we're not using them right now. And 2020, circumstantially, we're all not doing a lot of things that we typically would doing. So without further ado, let's hop straight into my list. Out of the gate, let's talk about Louis Vuitton PM agendas. You guys, when I first started this luxury journey many, many moons ago, I was in love with these. I think that there was a sense of nostalgia because when I was 18 or 17, my very first Louis Vuitton piece was the monogram canvas PM agenda. And I just, I had just this love for it. And I always will. And you see where that has led me. <laughs> I got one for every kind of bag that I had. There's a couple that I don't have, but these six were staples in my collection. It had been staples in my collection up until about two years ago. I just don't reach for them. I feel that once I graduated up to the MM agenda and most recently the GM agenda, I just don't find use for these. Now these are items that you can carry in your bag every day, whereas the MM, you can also carry every day, but the GM is too big to carry every day, in my opinion, for my lifestyle. But these are really, really good if you just have, want to do like to-do list, or even if you carry them as small wallets, I'm currently trying to find a way to implement them into my lifestyle. Unsuccessful but I'm not getting rid of them, but I'm just not reaching for these in 2020 and did not reach for them in 2019 either, so I can't blame it on coronavirus. The next two items that I'm not reaching for in 2020 are my Rolex watches or any luxury watches or any watch outside of my Apple Watch. I was so reluctant to joining the Apple Watch gang and my mother brought one for me last year and it has changed my life. I just don't know with what's going on in 2020. I mean, I wear these unapologetically, don't get me wrong, but I just don't know if I feel comfortable rocking these every day in the hospital, in the office, doing grocery shopping like I was before. These are such durable watches. They're so easy to be everyday watches, but my soul just kind of feels convicted when there's like people who are dying and people who are on unemployment and people who don't have homes and things like that. And I'm out here just flexing where my head is right now. And if you have a Rolex and you're rocking it every day, good. Teach me to do that. I can't, I can't get my brain out of rocking a Rolex right now or any luxury watch. I do not know why. You may have seen me pop them on for a video, but I'm not wearing them. I'm not going out in the world rocking a Rolex right now. If you're new to my channel and you've never seen my babies, this one here is my two-tone Datejust with the 18 karat yellow gold and the baguette and channel set markers. And this one here is my stainless steel and 18 karat white gold with the channel set diamonds. And I love these things. They've been with me for the longest time. I'm just not reaching for them. Next, I wanna talk about briefcases. You guys, at the inception of my channel, I was all about briefcases and messenger bags, and I just, these briefcases, I found some beauties along my pre-love luxury purchasing journey. This is one of my favorites. It is the Chapango Gold Epi Port Document Voyage. But I do love this piece. I love all of my briefcases, but when I really started buying them, it was with the mindset of going to Starbucks or a coffee house on the weekend to edit my videos and just, you know, this was my weekend accessory. And life has just changed. I'm not going to uh, coffee houses or anything like that with a briefcase to carry my laptop to go and edit. So 
I haven't really been using these. And then I told myself, oh, when you have office days, when I'm in the office two days a week, carry it there. You know, you can, you know, wear your lab coat, get all dressed up and stuff. But truth be told, I'm not carrying patient files or anything like that. There's no need for me to walk around with a briefcase. And I certainly don't have time in between patients to do any editing or anything like that. So for that alone, I'm just not carrying a briefcase. I wish that I did um, because I love all of them. And maybe as I, you know, I'm moving toward entrepreneurship and maybe when I go to meetings and things like that, I will be carrying this with me. But for now, there's no room for briefcases in my life. And speaking of briefcases, <laughs> I pulled this one out. I am no longer reaching toward monogram pieces. I think it's that same mindset about me wearing a Rolex in the middle of this crazy world that we're living in. I just feel like in your face fashion right now is just not something I'm comfortable doing. Mind you, I've purchased things this year, absolutely. But I just don't feel like throwing on in your face fashion, I don't know why. And, and monogram pieces are just kind of that. I used to be the hugest fan of monogram pieces and I'm finding myself gravitating more toward just really good quality leathers and with that, these are kind of getting lost in the dust, just temporarily. Hopefully next year I have this resurgence and this, you know, I rediscover my affinity toward monogram pieces and I will get back in the swing of things. But as of right now, they're just in their dust bags. And speaking of things that have been in their dust bags for a while, it's messenger bags. I know that I've unboxed one or two this year. I lost count. You guys know I shop like crazy. But that I blame on Corona, okay? That I blame on COVID. But um, I just, I'm not going to say I haven't reached for a messenger bag in 2020 because if you guys did not see my luxury soulmate tag video, I will leave it here. My Gucci messenger bag was my COVID bag. So I did use that for a large portion of the year. but. Currently, I am not reaching towards any messenger bags. They're all in their dust bags. I'm really into backpacks. If you guys have not seen, I have been unboxing a lot of backpacks lately, particularly coach backpacks. So more contemporary brands and not reaching toward the higher end luxury brands. But I love messenger bags. Messenger bags were the first type of luxury men's bags. I mean, we only have a few options, right? But it was the first kind of bag that I gravitated towards in the beginning of my luxury journey. And I just, for right now, while messenger bags and backpacks are both hands-free, I find that I never put the messenger bag crossbody, so it becomes a nuisance carrying it on my shoulder. And the backpack, even if I do one shoulder for some reason, maybe because I'm just a few months in carrying them, they're not bothering me. So for whatever reason, I'm not really reaching toward these and I'm just loving backpacks at the moment. Now this next thing, none of us are using in 20 so Actually, I'm lying. I see a lot of you guys out there catching flights and not feelings, and I'm catching feelings because you guys are catching flights, okay? Um, but the item that I'm talking about is a luxury travel bag. This is my Keep All 50 in the Borneo Green and the Epi Leather. <sighs> I can't say enough about this bag or any of my travel bags. I'm obsessed with all of them. But for obvious reasons, I'm not reaching toward any luxury bags. If you guys don't know, I work in a hospital, two hospitals. I work at a private practice as well, two days a week. So I am like in the mix. So I'm not traveling anywhere. And especially with this latest uptick in cases, I'm gonna even scale back from seeing my family and friends. So I'm not going on vacation. I wish I could. I have a friend who's getting married. Hey Lee, hey G. I have two friends that are getting married in Mexico in February and I'm praying to God that I can pull out a luxury travel bag to make that trip happen and to see my beautiful friends get married in Mexico. So you guys, that's it. This is a really, really fun video. Brittany, thank you so much for doing this collaboration with me. You guys, definitely check her out. Again, everything will be left in the description box below. You are going to love her channel. She covers beauty, fashion, luxury, you name it. She's good. Brittany good. Let's have a conversation down below. Let me know what luxury items you're currently not using and let's carry the conversation further and tell me what items you're using in lieu of the luxury items that we're currently neglecting. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video.